Hi, I'm Yash, and let's do another fun painting in watercolors. So let's get started. And then you know, drop in some nice little shadow. Now I've not added water still. White and some brown touch of yellow ochre. Let's come up over here and drop in some nice little highlights. Okay. Yeah, nice. Let's come over here. Just blending it out like that. Then add in some shadow with that color. Now let's come over here and drop in some dark color. Make sure you don't want to lose your sketch. It's going to come all the way like that. And by the way, I'm using watercolor paper. Okay, something like that. Then blend it instantly. It's almost looking like a highlight and I'm okay with that. Look at that. If you want to blend, you can take in some water and go back and blend it. Some color goes there. I'll take more of water. Look at that. Now you don't want to use too much of water. Otherwise it will start blotting. With some grayish brown. I'll come over here and drop in some color. Just like that. And add in some water to it. Like how we use paint thinner in a in oil painting. So yeah, you can use water here. Just thinking of blending this. Now it's some brown and black. Let's drop in the shadow regions. Something like that. That you want to blend it then and there itself. Now with some black, white and some yellow ochre. Let's come over here and place in that color. Okay, like that and then. And I'll paint in the ear. I don't want to lose the shape of that ear. And at this point I'm using only four colors. That is white, black, brown and some yellow ochre. Look at that. With those colors itself I managed to get lot of things in this paint. Let's come over here and drop in some highlights to his neck. Okay, maybe it's going to come over there like that. And you can make any sorts of shapes you want over here. But make sure you go, you go very detailed on the face. I'll load in some white, brown and yellow ochre. Okay, maybe like that. Take it some dark from there, apply it here. Make all sort of you know, differences in your colors as you paint. The other eye is on the other side. Okay, take in some water. Now it's some black and brown, mostly black this time. And don't use water here and let's drop in some of that eye make sure you keep your sketch intact okay like that and then maybe that goes off now with some white and some red and touch of yellow ochre just drop in some just 
stuff whether you could have left it just like that if you wanted to but I'm going to paint it in because I don't want anything which I paint to have pure black or pure white so now let's paint in the backdrop for that I've used up some red brown touch of black yellow ochre and some water now it's some black and some brown okay I'll come over here and drop in some hair for this horse and I'll make the ears look deeper by you know just adding in some darker color let's drop in some hair on his back for that you need to chisel your brush very well then maybe something like that that make it look very generic don't show individual hair again just going to lay in some of this color and then give some action there let that fade off to the edge and some gray color I'll come over here and drop in some highlight to the hair not everywhere okay, maybe there and then okay like that and you know just drop in a hair or two you know, just hold it like that and just pull it and as you think your paint is getting over go back load in more then, and even this is not going to be everywhere the dark spots are going to be just somewhere in there now let's go in and drop in some light source in his eye there look at that and now let me work off my brush thanks for watching